Mustard TV went live across Norwich and Norfolk on the 24th of March 2014. It was the second local station to go live in the country after the government's rollout of brand new local TV licences. We've got a fantastic opportunity here and I hope we're rewriting the rule book for local TV. Very best of luck with Mustard TV. I wish you well. I think it's a great initiative. Today might be the end of this particular era as the station sold by its owners Archant to the That's TV group. But an awful lot's been fitted in to the last 41 months. And rather a lot's changed in Norwich and Norfolk in that time. Back in the olden days of 2014, you could still do things like drive down Wesselgate or cycle on the road in Tombland. The NDR was still Norfolk's biggest argument and it could still take hours to get out the county on the as yet undueled A11 at Thetford. So our city and our county looks an awful lot different in three short years. But with local television being a completely new venture, what should it look like? Well, on Mustard, it looks a bit like this. The Mustard show covered everything from the seriously talented to the seriously inspiring and not forgetting the seriously silly or the seriously rude. But enough of Helen McDermott. The Pink and Show brought local football discussion to Norwich's fans in a whole new way. Local sports teams got more TV exposure than they'd ever had before and Mustard also brought you coverage of the Norfolk Rugby Junior and Senior Cup finals. But of course things didn't always go quite as planned when one of Norwich's pre-season friendlies wasn't broadcast live as planned in July 2015 after a technical problem which led to a full apology. Mustard News and Norwich and Nine brought local TV news to your home in a whole new way. No exciting updates from as far afield as Colchester or Cambridge, or God forbid even Suffolk. Just things happening right on your doorstep. And there has been plenty of that. There was the tidal surge and the damage that caused along parts of our coastline. There's been years of council savings and cuts and the impact that's had on our county. And of course the airshow tragedy in Old Buckingham that made headlines across the country. The This Week panel discussion show brought new access to your local politicians and public figures in the busiest three years in recent political history. In that time, we've seen two general elections where you've had the chance to find out more about the candidates on screen than ever before, including studio debates and hour-long specials in front of a live studio audience. There was also a police and crime commissioner election and the small matter of the EU referendum. But aside from the main events, the past three and a half years have brought you thousands of stories from thousands of people who wouldn't necessarily have got their moment in the spotlight without a local TV service. Whether that's charities making a real difference in our community to have a go heroes, world-class talent waiting for a chance to shine, or people who've quietly overcome the odds. It's been about giving a new voice to the people of Norfolk. And that's what Mustard TV has been all about. Neil Perry, Mustard TV, Norwich. Thank you.